in the new products there's a capture tab and the capture tab is new and it's the location for all the tools for probing and scanning and performing measurements another analysis with a tactile probe and as it is with all Geomagic products we try to support a very simple left to right workflow so here in the capture tab you'll see a series of tools for aligning the device to the part or aligning the part uh, to a CAD reference model, collecting features and data, performing measurements, and other kinds of analysis like um, 3D deviation and GD&T. Let's start with alignment. Now you can use this product with or without a CAD reference model. If you simply want to place the coordinate system on the part and you don't have a CAD model, you can use Orient to World. If you have a CAD model, there's 3, 2, 1. But the tool that most people will gravitate towards is going to be iterative alignment. Great alignment tool that's easy to use for both prismatic and freeform parts. Let's go ahead and take a look. Super simple to use. You simply click on the model to define some landmarks that you're going to probe on the physical part. And the software will step you through probing those points and then best fit to them. And it's going to prompt you through probing those points and hitting them within a given tolerance. And the points will pass or fail based on whether or not they fit to that tolerance. Now in this case, instead of just picking the landmarks manually, I'm going to go ahead and delete those points. And usually what I like to do is go ahead and load predefined alignment points from a location set. So I'm going to go ahead and select a location set, load those points. I'll click probe points and the software is going to step me through probing each of those locations. Now once I get to the third point, the software will start to pre-align and give me some visual cues as to when I'm in that tolerance zone. Um, as indicated here by the, the green uh, bullseye. Once I've probed all the alignment points and they've passed, the model will reorient to give me a cue that I'm done. Um, I can zoom in and actually see where those points were taken. If any of those points had failed, the software would have prompted me to reprobe just those points until I got the desired alignment. And then I could ratchet that tolerance down and realign again. So it's super easy to get either a rough alignment or a very accurate alignment using the same best fit algorithm we use for our point cloud data.